to the uh, next one, uh, next presentation by uh, Professor Galina Kropatseva from the uh, Bauman Moscow State Technical University, um, Russian Federation. Uh, the title of uh, the presentation is uh, Research of Good Shape Memory Effect at Low Temperatures. Professor Galina, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, dear chairman, dear Professor Avramidis. Uh, uh, and uh, dear colleagues, I'm very happy to see to see you with great pleasure. I recall last uh, symposium in Graz, Tubing, and uh, your visit of Moscow and our trip to Saint Petersburg. And I hope uh, we will meet offline very very soon. Uh, I recorded my presentation, so so I will share my screen, and uh, then I will wait for your questions. Dear Chairman, dear colleagues, I would like first of all to thank the organizers of symposium for inviting me to give presentation. It is my great honor and pleasure. I am very happy to see all of you at symposium and hope that we will meet offline very soon. As you can see on the screen, our topic today is research of wood shape memory effect at low temperatures. On September 21st, 2019, Russia ratified the Paris Agreement. Russia has set a goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to the level of 70-75% relatively to the indicators of 1990, including taking into account the absorption capacity of forests. The total forest carbon stock is estimated at 662 gigatons, comprising 300 gigatons in soil organic matter, 295 gigatons in living biomass, and 68 gigatons in dead wood and litter. The global forest area in 2020 is estimated at 4.06 billion hectares, more than half. 55% of the world forest area is in only five countries, the Russian Federation, Brazil, Canada, the United States of America, and China. Uh, about 30% of all forest is used primarily for production of food and non-wood forest products. The world's total forest growing stock is estimated at 557 billion cubic meters. Among countries, Brazil is estimated to have the largest forest growing stock. The Russian Federation, Canada and the United States of America also have very large volumes of growing stock. The volume of wood removals in 2018 was less than 1% of the forest growing stock. The top 10 countries for wood removals led by the United States of America accounting for 55% of total global removals in 2018. Global production and training forest products in 2019, you can see on this slide. And five leading consuming countries in the United States of America and China. Russia is the largest forest country holds a leading position in the world in total forest area and the second one in growing stock and has a great potential for carbon sinks in forests and wood products for climate change mitigation. A whole physics produced a third of greenhouse gas emissions. It has been suggested that they might be one of the most cost-effective climate change mitigation solutions. Buildings as a global carbon sink. Cities built from bio-based materials, such as engineered timber and bamboo, can serve as constructed carbon sinks. Different models, forecast scenarios, were suggested for estimated of carbon stock in wood buildings, as you can see on this slide. The total carbon stock over 30 years would sum up to 20 gigatons in the 90% timber scenario. Alamiri, with 
Polex found that the carbon storage capacity of buildings is not significantly influenced by the type of building, the type of wood, or the size of building, but rather by the number and the volume of wooden elements used in the structural and non-structural components of the building. They can capture more carbon than they emit. So why aren't wooden buildings mainstream? Oh, yes, it's true. Only 10% of construction in Europe is made of wood. On this slide, you can see current challenges and possible solutions. It's a fear of fire, rot, and strains. And of course, it is really hard to stand the desired the wood because of very high natural variability. And so, structural components such as walls, uh, floors, are not in the desired. No ready solutions for construction. Wood is readily available and economically feasible natural resource. You can find numerous research from different parts of the world. The number of wood species currently known to science is 60,065. Over 45% of tree species are found in just 10 families. A country with the most diverse tree flora is Brazil, followed by Colombia and Indonesia. Requirements of multifunctionality, combination in the material of high physical, mechanical, and chemical properties are imposed to advanced materials. Wood is in the nature of not multifunctional materials requiring mechanical properties at low density, possesses the shape, memory effect. Extreme impacts on wood can lead to creation of essentially new structural states. The properties and advantages of wood as a nature of smart multifunctional materials allow to conclude that wood, one of the world's most advanced materials for the future. For the first time, Professor Fellow of International Academy of Wood Science, Boris Ogilev, mentioned about wood is a natural smart material. He showed some intelligent properties and characteristics of wood in his academy lecture. The memory effect of wood discovered by him is a feature of smart materials and allows to include wood in the class of smart materials. Metal alloys, ceramics, and polymers also possess shape memory effect. The shape memory effect of wood is based on quasar residual frozen strains. They were experimentally discovered by Boris Sogolev in the early 1960s, a drying of past and specimen. The frozen strains are the carrier of memory effect of wood. The ability of wood to convert molecular level stimulus responsiveness into movement on the microscopic level was observed at shape memory effect at the recovering of permanent shape from temporary. Reversible shape changes typical active movement phenomena are explained by the transformation of molecular topological structure of wood. Wood possesses multi-shape memory effect. It was experimentally discovered that wood can memorize three, four, and five shapes. Sound and mycologically destroyed wood demonstrate the behavior of actively moving material. As you can see on this slide, despite the decrease of the content of lignin of pocket rod sample, yep. the recovery was faster than for sound. As you can see, characterization of shape memory effect of wood was performed. However, study of this phenomena at low temperatures has not yet been conducted. For the research, samples of beech and pine sliced veneer, birch rod or cut veneer along the grain were used. Study of deformative conversions and visualization were carried out on the band veneer samples by the previously developed and patented method. This method involves determination of all components of hydrothermal mechanical strains of wood on one sample. Permanent, temporary shapes and shape after color are shown on this slide. For quantity assessment, two important quantities for shape memory polymers were used. Using the model of hydrothermal mechanical strains of wood, equations for the calculation of the shape memory effect quantities were obtained. RR 
is string recovery. It describes the ability of the materials to memorize its permanent shape. Our F is string fixed delay. It describes the ability to memorize its temporary shape. And here you can see equation for frozen strings. You can see temperature ranges from plus 100 and plus 25 to minus 71 degrees Celsius. Water was a medium for activation. Most content of specimens was about the fiber saturation point to exclude the influence of the shrinkage and swelling on the values of shape memory effect quantities. Refrigeration equipment of scientific and educational center cryology, Alabama and Moscow State Technical University, was used. On this slide, you can observe the visualization of recovery of permanent shape from temporary. The behavior of food is an actively moving material. The presence are the result of temporary construction of wood nanostructure. It takes place under the control and load influence while wood stiffness increases at drying or cooling. They disappear at wetting and heating. Frozen strains are equal to the difference between the elastic viscose strains of the wood at the initial and final temperature conditions. The value of variation of frozen strains, which are carriers of shape memory effect, varied from 0.43 to 0.74. The ratio of plastic strains in the low temperature range was significantly higher than in our previous experiments because the tests were carried out at wet samples which contained free water and lead to the presence of ice in wood cell cavities. In this case, the match of anatomical elements is possible. Shapes of the recovery are presented on this slide. For pine wood, the plastic strains were higher. The values of the strain recovery rate are R reflecting the ability of the material to remember permanent shape. For the samples were in range from 0.72 to 0.95. The maximum values were observed for birch wood which is explained by the lower values of plastic strain ratio and the features of manufacturing technology of rotary cut veneer. The strain fixity rate RF, which reflects the ability to remember the temporary shape, ranges from 0.57 to 0.8. Shape memory effect quantities and ratios for wood samples in temperature ranges from plus 100 to minus 71 degrees Celsius are presented in this table. You can see also for different uh, temperature intervals from our previous research, and the, the an increase in the ratio of frozen strains was observed with an increase in temperature range. More visually change in the frozen strains ratio with temperature change, you can see here. And you can see conclusion. Results of research can be used for the development of new multifunctional smart biodegradable wood-based materials capable of operating under variable extremal temperature and humidity conditions. In conclusion, we can say that the properties of wood as a natural smart material, rapid advances in material science, chemistry, digital fabrication technology, allow for creation new smart multifunction materials and expand the traditional areas of application of wood and wood-based materials. Japanese logging company Sumitomo Forestry and Kyoto University are planting the seeds for a 2023 launch of world's first satellite made out of wood. Wood does not block electromagnetic waves of the Earth's magnetic field. This enables devices such as antennas or attitude control mechanisms to be placed inside a wooden satellite alone for simpler structures. 
In addition, when a wooden satellite de orbits and plunges back to Earth, it would burn up completely without releasing harmful substances into the atmosphere or raining debris on the ground. So, one of the main disadvantages of wood transformed to advantage comparing with artificial material. Thus, wood is advanced materials of the future and as such is becoming increasingly important. Growing social awareness of resource conservation and simultaneous technical developments are bringing mankind's oldest material back into the spotlight for the smart future on Earth and in space. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your attention and my special thanks to Professor De Gris for inspiration. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, any questions for uh, Professor Gorbacheva? I, I personally, I was intrigued intrigued by the fact that they are going to launch the uh, you know wood satellite. Um, yes. It's um, we 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 know that uh, radiation actually causes a lot of damage to wood and and rapid disintegration. So how are they going to deal with that? There's a lot of radiation in space. Of course, it would be a wooden composite and uh, not, not pure wood, of course. Okay. All right. Any, any questions? All right. Well, thank you very much for your interesting presentation.